Hey everyone, this is Eric with LED Grow Lights Depot. Just want to show you this new light that's on the market by Optic LED. It's called the Optic 8 Plus Grow Light. So check this out. You can see that it has dimmability. It has eight cobs and it has diodes down the middle. So I'm going to go more in depth on this light, but just wanted to show it to you real quick. You can see the cobs. There's the back of the light and the dimmability. So let's just go through this light. I want to show you because it's pretty cool and it's priced pretty well too. Um, $1,495 compared to a lot of other LED grow lights on the market uh, which are at this price if not more um, and don't use as high as uh, quality of parts. So first of all you can see that it has eight Cree cobs they are the CXB3590 cobs, which are some of the largest and most efficient slash brightest on the market at this time. It has 3 watt Osram diodes going down the middle, uh, like I showed you there in the first picture. I could see the 3 watt diodes. Uh, what does the spectrum look like? So here's the spectrum. Uh, you can see that you have UV, blue, uh, lots of green, lots of red, and IR, so full spectrum LED grow light, which is what most people are looking for these days. And here's the Optic 8 Plus Bloom Enhancer Spectrum. So this is a spectrum of the diodes down the middle of the uh, LED fixture. So you can see that this is providing your UV and most of your red. What's the par? So the par at 24 inches and the par at 18 inches. Uh, you can kind of get an idea of what it is just by looking at this. You can see that it's about 1300 plus right in the middle at 24 inches and uh, six, over 1600 at 18 inches. Um, and then you could also kind of see the, uh, uh, the spread there. So, you know, intense in the middle, but also intense on the side. So, you know, you're gonna lose a little bit of intensity as you go around the edge. Um, but I mean, these numbers still look pretty good. I mean, we're not dipping below, let's see, at 24 inches, hardly dipping below 200, um, in the corners, which is always the lowest spot. So really good reading. Um, and then what does the average par look like? The average par is 619 micromoles per meter squared per second at 24 inches. So that's a really good reading. Really like that number. Uh, this light draws 500 watts, so super efficient. It'll replace a 1000 watt double-ended HPS in a 4x4 area. And then some more information on the COBS and the um, Osram LEDs. So there's six 3500K COBS and two 5000K COBS. And then, again, these are controlled by... Um, this switch right here. So this switch is going to turn on the cobs and then you could um, adjust the veg spectrum and the bloom spectrum from looks like zero all the way up to 100 and then also the diodes down the middle which is your bloom enhancer can be adjusted uh, with this knob right there. All right. So you have Korean Osram diodes. I've got a 90 degree lens. I also have the option of 120 degrees, which is typically used for a larger coverage area. So you can make that selection just right up here. So 90 degree is best for four by four and 120 degree is best for a larger area, say five by five. All right, mean well drivers. So top quality drivers, these are some of the best in the industry. So, I mean, look at this. You have Meanwell, you have Cree, you have Osram. Uh, these are some of the best parts that you can find in an LED grow light. So, super high quality. So, your recommended coverage area that we just talked about, 4x4 four four and 5x5. Five five. Recommended hanging height. It's about 24 inches. So, good thing about this light is you could hang it at 24 inches and not have to move it because you have that uh, three-way dimmability. 
There's a little bit more information on the dimmability. So veg, bloom, and the bloom enhancer. You've got your two switches for on and off, and then another one for the bloom enhancer. Dimensions, so 27 inches by about 27 inches. So this light is a beast. It's, you know, pretty heavy, 34 pounds. Uh, but the fact that this light is 27 inches by 27 inches means that you have a lot of light coming out of a large area. So let's take a look at that, which means that, you know, you're going to have really good coverage um, and, you know, really good intensity throughout the entire 4x4 area, not just in the middle of the light. All right. Uh, so 5 to 1.9 amps, depending on, um, you know, if you have the light all the way up or almost all the way down. Uh, the driver is flexible, so 100 to 265 volts AC. And then just some other information on the light, like what it comes with, for example, some ratchet straps, hanging hooks, hanging cables, and of course a power cord, five-year warranty. So again, just wanted to show you this light. Um, I think it's really cool. Um, top quality parts, um, you know, great par readings, awesome spectrum. So I wouldn't be surprised if this is not one of the top LED grow lights on the market at this time. Again, it just came out, but I mean, just looking at the par, just looking at the uh, quality of parts on it, I mean, this is definitely a great light. So, you know, just making this video to let you guys know that this light is out there. Um, you know, feel free to leave your comments below. If you're interested in this light, you can click the link in the description. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. And actually for more LED grow light reviews, uh, we'll be posting more of those soon. So we will see you around. All right, peace.